tonight I thought I'd show a little gameplay on Hogwarts Legacy on the Lenovo Legion Go. Um, here I'm playing at 800p. I'll show the settings in a minute. Let's just run around and see the sort of frame rates I'm getting at the moment. So I'm running around Hogsmeade, sort of low 50s to 60 frames, above 60 frames, depending on view distance, etc. But it definitely feels very smooth. So despite this being 800p and the settings being quite low, I still think it looks really good on the screen. I do say this in all my videos, but there's a very blue tinge to uh, my smartphone's camera. This game doesn't look blue at all. Uh, there's a nice depth of colour. Um, this bit I'm standing on now is very much grey. Um, you, you get the very, very green effect here. So... Um, it's still a problem I'm trying to trying to solve. Um, haven't got there yet. Hopefully, at some point, I'll have a really nice setup where you can really see the colours as they are on the screen. So let's just um, show you my settings. So I'm running windowed full screen, and um, I put the Lenovo into 1200, uh, 1280 by 800, so that's the only option available here. Um, AMD FSR2 is on, and it's set to balanced, with upscale sharpness all the way up to 1. Um, we have, sorry that went a bit too far, so we have VSync turned off, frame rate capped out at 144 frames per second. Uh, it's not going to get there apart from in the menu. <laughs> and if I scroll down a bit further, motion blur, depth of field, and chromatic aberration are turned off. So if I now go into the, the video settings themselves, graphics options, I mean, we've got a custom setting, but um, it's pretty much biased towards medium. So everything medium, apart from foliage quali quality, post processing quality view distance quality and population quality. Um, it's talking about having ray tracing on etc um, and ray tracing quality ultra. I didn't think this would actually have any ray tracing going on. Um, but we'll leave that on as the performance seems okay. So still got quite nice particle effects on the um, incendio spell. There's a nice little picture of Hog, uh, Hogwarts. Um, So I'm running with 6 gig of RAM for this, and it seems to be running smoothly. I was getting stutters before, um, but with the settings I've got at the moment, it seems to be running smoothly. I am plugged in. Um, it's on 20 watts, but I think if, if I'm plugged in, it won't be doing that. So let's unplug, see how that affects the performance. I'll just run around a bit, see if we get any more stuttering. Uh. 
So now that uh, seems to be quite good. Let me just show that I am on performance. Sorry, let me try that again. Yeah, so we're on performance, 20 watt TDP. So this, I, I would play this all day long. I'm quite happy with this. And let's bump it up. Let's try 1200p. See if we can play on these settings and what sort of frame rate we've got. Okay, so first off I'll probably have to change my graphics mode outside of the game. Okay. See if it's picked that up automatically or if I have to change it. Oh good, it's picked it up automatically. So I've got a bit of a bug with my graphics overlay. Um, when I pop this up, it seems to do a duplicate. And sometimes goes away, sometimes doesn't. So now we have dropped frames. Let's just run around a bit. We're now sitting at um, high 30s, early 40s. But it still, still feels playable, running around Hogsmeade, which used to be one of the more um, demanding areas for frames per second. Yeah, so, so I don't know, I'd probably stick with 800p if I was running around unplugged. Let's see what, what sort of frames we get if I plug in and go to 30 watts. Because it might be that um, plugging in gets me that extra, the extra frames per second that I want. Um, so I would be playing this plugged in at 1200p. So if I go to custom at 30 watts, let's give it full power. Okay, yep, so we're now mid, sort of holding at mid 40s, um, edging towards 50 frames per second in this bit, and it's smooth. So, um, yeah, I, th I think that's the way I'd do it if I was out and about playing. Definitely 800p with these settings. If I was... Um, if I was in the house plugged in, 1200p with these settings. I must admit, it, I never quite took to this game, but while I was testing this earlier, I was really starting to enjoy it. It's, there's something, I was going to say magical, a bit of a cliche, but there's something magical about running around Hogwarts and interacting with all the things that are in there and you know finding little hidden secrets. So I'm probably going to spend more time playing this game, and I, I'm definitely going to spend that time doing it on the Lenovo Legion Go. It's very playable, very smooth. Um, I'd, I'd recommend it definitely with these settings. I should have got that page somehow. Anyway, it's just a, a really short video. Um, hope you like it, and speak to you soon.